Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this amazing watercolor effect in Photoshop. And if you're new and looking to advance in Photoshop, this is the channel for you. Please subscribe, join the family of learners. Guys, shall we begin? So the first thing you see in my layers panel is that I have the image that I want to convert and I also have a watercolor paper. So we are going to turn on our image and turn off the watercolor paper to make a duplicate of this image, command J, make a duplicate, turn off the background image. We want to right click and convert this into a smart object because we want to add different filters to it. The first thing we're going to do is to add a filter. So we're going to go to filter, filter gallery, and we are going to click on brush, dry brush under the artistic. And you want your brush size to be a three and you want your detail to be at nine and the texture is at one, but you can increase the texture if you want but I'm gonna keep it with these settings. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now we wanna add one more filter to the image. So go to filter, filter gallery, and this time under artistic, you wanna choose cutout. And you want your number level to be seven, your edge simplicity at three, and your edge fidelity at one. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now, when you look below that particular layer, you realize that the filter gallery layers are there. You can actually change them. So we're gonna double click on it to bring up the blending mode. And we wanna change this blend mode to pin light. And we are going to keep the opacity at 100. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now, the next thing is to go to filter, blare and we are going to add a smart blur and we want to keep our radius at 6.5 threshold at 4.9 now depending on your image you might want to play with these settings and i'm going to go ahead and click ok now you notice that it created another filter that is editable which is for the smart blur so we're going to double click on that bring up the blend options and we are going to go ahead and change this to screen and we're going to take the opacity down to 50 we are actually going to take the opacity down to 40 and we're going to go ahead and click ok now we want to go back to our filter and choose sterilize and fine edges now you want to go ahead and Double click on the fine edge. Now we want to change this blend option to multiply and we want to take down the opacity to about a 50 and we are going to go ahead and click OK. Now with this set for us, we are going to go ahead and turn back on our watercolor paper and move that above the other image. Now we want to go ahead and add a layer max to our final watercolor image. So go under your, your layers panel and just add a layer max. We wanna inverse our layer max. So you wanna hold down Command I on the Mac and Alt I on Windows. Now we wanna go ahead and reveal our watercolor design. So to do that, you wanna pick up your brush tool and you want to choose something that have a very rough um, edge to it and I have this watercolor um, brush which I will have as a link as well as the images so you can try your hands at this. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to just come out and then you want to make sure that your foreground color is white. Now we know white reveals black hide. So you can go ahead and begin to reveal your image. So we have something like this. Now you can finish it off with the camera raw effect and the color lookup. So go to your adjustment 
and choose a color lockup. Now we're going to change our option to warm, soft, warm look. So it blends everything in as though this was a painting and not like a picture with another image. Now we are going to finish this off by creating, by applying a camera raw effect. So to do that, we're going to hold down shift option command E to make a final image. If you are on the Mac, if you are on Windows, a shift control alt E to create the final image. Now we want to add a camera raw effect. So go to filter, choose camera raw. Now you can play with the different settings to bump up your color. You can increase your contrast and you can also take down your exposure and even play with your temperature. And we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now, the other thing that you can do is that you can bring in another image that you can apply. So what you need to do is that since our image is a smart object, we can double click on it. It opens up in a new window so we can bring in another image. So I'm going to pull this image in. I'm going to drag this image and drop it here and set it in place. And I have to scale it a little, double click. Now, all you need to do is close it. When you close it, it will ask you, do you want to save it? You click on save. This is the effect you get. You can keep basically replacing it with different images. And because you already have the settings, it will automatically apply it to it. So guys, this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.